What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I really appreciate you guys watching these. Uh, so today I am finally back up at the um, property with the shelters on it. I'm at the A-frame right now as you can see. And today's not really a build day. Um, I thought initially that I was going to work on the lean-to some today, but I haven't gotten a, a chance to get up here in like about three weeks now. My last two trips up have been canceled due to family stuff and just need to be able to take care of my little boy while my wife took care of some uh, doctor visits and stuff like that. So I've kind of canceled the last two trips up here. Been really busy at work. I've been working a lot of overtime um, with working at a outdoor and um, like camping, sporting goods type thing. Um, and I'm a team leader there. Uh, my schedule's been pretty heavy here the last few weeks with Thanksgiving and Christmas and all that. So that's all um, finally gone. Um, it's the 29th today that I'm filming this. So pretty much all the retail craziness is settling down for me. So that's a good thing. But I will tell you on the other hand, um, my wife is literally probably two or three weeks away from delivering our second little boy. So I definitely wanted to get up here today because I literally could get the word at any time that she is about to deliver. Um, our first little boy came 35 weeks early. So, I mean, sorry, five weeks early at 35 weeks. Um, and she's already about to hit 34 with our second little boy. So it's, uh, it's really could happen anytime. And from what I've, I know right now the um, caregiver that she is with is uh, looking to induce her at probably 37 weeks. So at the most, we've got about three more weeks. Um, everything is is good, but my wife is is experiencing some uh, high blood pressure, hypertension with this pregnancy. She had it a little bit towards the very end with our first little boy. Um, it's lasted longer this time, so they don't really want to go too much longer. They don't want um, to let her blood pressure stay outside where they want it for too much longer. So, like I said, I could get the word anytime. So today I just wanted to get up here and just kind of have a chill day at camp. Uh, just get out, enjoy the woods. I've been in crazy... Uh, shopping days and, and just flooded with people and stuff going on so it's nice to just get away some peace and quiet uh, and I came up kind of today to also do a lot of gear photography um, I really enjoy doing that and it goes more in hand with my Instagram page so if you um, are interested in seeing any of that as I've said before it's just at Viking Bushcraft and Survival on my um, on my main page for my YouTube channel, up at the banner at the top, uh, in the right uh, corner, you should see a link. I have an Instagram link right there that'll take you directly to my page. So if you wanna see any of the photography, keep up with me there, um, that's where you can do that. It's just at Viking Bushcraft and Survival. Um, and I document the shelters, the photography, just goes hand in hand with what I do here for YouTube as well. Uh, one, things I, one of the things I want to show you guys is this right here. So my best friend surprised me right before Christmas. Um, I, he, I've told you before, he's, he lives up in Alaska. He's located up in Anchorage right now. He, unknowingly to me, sent me a package and told me to look out for it. Uh, I think it was the day before Christmas Eve or something like that. He said, watch out for a package. And he surprised me with an SE6 knife with a molded sheath. Belt clip on it. Um, I installed this. This came in the package, but you can just install this on the back of the sheath. It's got a clip on it. So that way you can clip it right onto your belt or your pants and super nice knife i cannot thank him enough for surprising me with this i've had my eye on the se6 for a while i saw it at a outdoor store uh, a little north of where i live 
got to see it in person and really like the blade. It is just a really well made. It's got orange liners. You can see that. Orange liners for the handles. Really nice canvas micarta for the handle. Super smooth. It feels so comfortable in the hand. And those are such smooth handle scales. So awesome, awesome gift from him. So I want to show you guys. Um, this will be entering the rounds of knives that I bring up here for uh, camp chores, overnighters, anything like that. So I brought that up here today. Another thing I did was I went up um, and got some stuff out of a couple pieces out of storage. Uh, as I've told you, about a year, just over a year ago, we sold our house um, out in the country. And with that, I lost a lot of storage space. So out there I had a shed or a workshop that I had all the room to put my outdoor gear and all that kind of stuff. Well, when we moved, we're renting currently up in the town we're living in now and uh, I don't have nearly the storage space I had there so some of my stuff is at my wife's family's home uh, they have some more space and area that we can use for storage right now and so I have a big bin just full of uh, gear that I've collected over the years so one of the other things I got I brought my I brought my cold steel rifleman's hawk um, if you've followed the channel for a while, you've seen this before. Not for a long time. I haven't had this with me since we moved out of the house. This got packed up actually closer to a year and a half ago when the house was getting ready to go on the market. So I haven't had this with me for a while. This is the Rifleman's Hawk that my best friend customized, gave to me a few years. Uh, when he came, he was in mine at my wife's wedding. He was my best man. Um, and he gave this to me while he was down... For that trip, I uh, love this tomahawk. Um, as, as you've heard me say, the, the Warhawk is about my favorite tomahawk. Um, very closely contested by this one. Um, this has been my favorite for a long time. And one thing I like about this one is it's got the traditional wooden handle. This is more of a traditional tomahawk. It's got the awesome hammer um, here on the back of it. Nice big blade for the um, cutting edge on it. And then he, he, one thing he did is he wire wrapped it. This is metal wire wrapping that he did here on the top part of the handle. And then he also stripped the black coating that Cold Steel puts on there to protect it. He stripped that off just to give it the um, silver uh, bare metal look all over. So I've just gotten a few of these pieces out, brought them up here. Uh, I've been wanting to get back to this for a while and so I finally got it out of storage and uh, so I just kind of brought a collection of gear up here today I think I'm gonna do a fire um, it's pretty chilly up here today and it's just a really beautiful day to enjoy a fire up at the campsite so I'm gonna gather gather up some firewood and I will meet you guys back here show you before I get it started I'll also show you the um, new fire starter I'm using today so I'll be back with that in just a few minutes guys I got a bit of a fire going and I'm sorry but I I used a new fire starter today uh, by a company called I believe it's Mickwick fire starter I got some uh, sent to me and they're basically little like looks like little wax cubes and uh, it's an all-natural fire starter well, by the time I got this going it's pretty much covered up. I will tell you if you want if you want to see it, um, it will be on my uh, Instagram story um, when I around the time I get this posted up, I'll have it up for about 24 hours, and I have a little video on my phone that I was able to get while I was doing it. The camera was over here, so I will have that up on my. Um, uh, Instagram story if you want to jump over there and take a look at it plus I'll be taking some pictures of the uh, I have some more of them at home and I'll take some pictures and post them up there if you want to take a look at them uh, real nice little just um, easy fire starter uh, one difficulty I ran into was 
I wasn't thinking about it when I left that all I had was my fire steel and my pack so I had to kind of get creative with a little uh, papery bark over here and made up a little tinder bundle on top of it so that it would start the wick and then after that it took a few minutes to get going but after that it was fine it would have been way easier if I just had some matches but uh, I don't think I have any matches in this pack with me right now I usually just throw my fire steel and uh, my insta fire or something like that in there or just use natural resources out here so got a little fire going I'm not gonna do anything I'm not gonna do like a huge fire today I don't I don't need a huge fire I just wanted to do one kind of for being at camp have a nice relaxing fire something I could sit around warm up a little bit um, I've got a little less than two hours left out here um, before I head home but like I said today was just about being kind of a chill day bringing up some of the new gear um, oh I do want to show you guys let me find a good piece real quick I'm gonna show you how well this um, SE feather sticks real quick okay so uh, here's the SE I had earlier um, I said my I told you my friend got me so one nice thing about it really good finger toil right here so you can choke up on it and get some nice curls See, you can really kind of get some fine curls on there. This is a pretty hard piece. I believe this is some cedar, so it's very rigid. But even it, I can just nice and slow, choked up on it. Sorry, I don't know why this is having such a hard time focusing today. But there it is. With some finer curls on it. Yeah, it's just, I mean, this knife really needs no introduction. Pretty much Anybody familiar with knives and bushcraft has seen or heard of this brand. There's tons of reviews on them online. They're just a super well-made knife, really good company. And even on this hardwood, I can still get some good curls to come off of there. So really looking forward to using this knife and uh, putting it through you know camp chores and stuff like that because it seems like it's going to be a really good really good blade for doing stuff out here um i'll still have all my others in rotation um over time as well but i'll be using this for a while for uh my camp knife for a little while again huge thank you to my best friend for sending me this such a nice gift to get from him and um you'll be seeing more of it again i'll have a bunch of pictures up on my instagram when i get back from today if you want to see more of it but um i think that's going to be kind of where i wrap it up today um there's nothing major going on up here i had a little lunch and um i'm just going to kind of hang out here at camp and relax take it easy for the rest of the time i'm up here and then i'm going to head out in about an hour and a half and uh go home my wife and little boy will be getting home this evening and I'll go spend time with them. So this is just a little little camp video, uh, nothing major today. Hopefully if I'm up here again before our little boy is born, um, if I do come back up here before that, I will do a camp build the next time. I'll pick back up on the shelter next time I come up here. So appreciate you guys watching. Um, always appreciate all of you who follow and comment and and like and and have decided to join me on this journey and and adventure here on this outdoor channel so thank you guys so much i will see you guys from camp real soon everybody take care stay safe and i'll see you again uh whenever circumstances allow take care guys <laughs>